If the water level is below this marker post, the boats won't travel. If the post is covered, then there wouldn't be room between the water and the roof. In the old days, a man would lie on his back for hours, leg weary, walking upside down on the rock to get the coal through stretches of canal that extended 15 miles. And there was women and children working down there, wasn't it? So was it the 1840s? 1840s, yes. The whole family worked down. Father and the big brothers got the coal. And whatever the going rate was, they got the money. Uh, the women never got more than half the man's wage, and the children would possibly only get an eighth of the man's wage. They had this graduated pay scale. This is an absolutely fantastic uh, engineering feat. Uh, from here, uh, the tunnels run under Tilsley, Walkden, Little Holton, Farmworth, out into Limishaw, into Bolton, and I said the furthest point is Four Lane End in Bolton. It really is a labyrinth, and it's on three or four different levels. When did the pits close then? Well, did this tunnel actually close? Well, it, it was a bit organic, really. Uh, they stopped using it to transport coal about 1888. Because up until then, anything up to 1,500 1, tonnes of coal a week were coming out of this tunnel. Uh, basically, they worked all the coal out that was accessible by it. And then in the 1840s, 1850s, better mining methods had arrived. And it was more economic to use steam-powered winding than bring the stuff out by board. So eventually, it closed, but they kept it open for drainage and ventilation and all that. But the last call actually came out in 1968. Did you have that? No, I didn't. The men who maintained the, the waterway uh, had an arrangement, you see. They did the twice weekly trip. And the old couple who lived in the stonemason's cottage in the Delph always had the kettle on for them. And the reward was half a dozen bags of nutty slack. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Glenn. Yeah. I was going to say about well, a site of world importance. It is hopefully a world heritage site. And the visitors that used to attract in its heyday. Mm -hmm. I've heard some members of the Russian royal family actually attended, don't they? Is this true? Well, or the, the crowned heads of Europe came. I mean, Josiah Wedgwood, the potter, came. Uh, he said the crowned heads of Russia. And we had industrial spies here who came to see it from France and Germany and abroad. Mm. I mean, and it really was a, a tourist trap. The nobility certainly came, and the more well-to-do travellers, Arthur Young, the traveller, came. I uh, said so that the local hotel, uh, the Bridgewater Hotel, known as the Grapes, because it had a bunch of grapes as an inn sign, um, used to cater for these people and it was part of sort of your booking by booking at the hotel you could arrange to go up the canal and the last item on the bill was always candles for going up the level in other words you know it was an yeah. organized thing for the hoi polloi as well as the crown heads <laughs> of Europe and apparently the boatmen liked that because they got a good tip once more at Worsley, they'll have satisfied themselves that all's well. At Worsley, the old canal joins up with the one still in use for coal traffic. Here too, the coal board has a boatyard, and the surface canal system is as busy as it ever has been. Back into the present day, from their trip into the 18th century, three tired and dirty men set off to make their report.